As lawyers, we can be agents of change, beginning with the way we approach law practice. Today, we refer more disputes to arbitration, adjudication, and mediation. But are we truly moving towards solutions rather than advancement of more parochial interests? What we need is a change in mindset. My proposal is for all lawyers to be judges. Of course, not literally. I propose that more than adopting a mindset of an advocate, we should assume the mindset of a conciliator or mediator. A conciliator or mediator handles a case with a view of finding a swift and equitable resolution to the dispute. They are interested in results rather than in procedural technicalities. Conciliators are not limited to by the perspective of a lawyer advocate. They look more at the entire picture. They are, there is room to ask for what is just under the circumstances. Moreover, they know how to listen, whereas the traditional lawyer is more interested in arguing and in spotting the errors in the arguments of the opponents, the conciliator recognizes the value of understanding the points of both parties. Traditional lawyering, the traditional lawyer is interested in winning. The conciliator is interested in fulfilling the interest of the contending parties. My mindset then as a freshly minted lawyer in 1970 was that of a combatant. But when I joined government, was appointed as Secretary of Labor during one of the most tumultuous periods in our industrial relations history, I had to change that in resolving business. I was more focused in seeking solutions rather than proclaiming winners and losers. As Secretary of Justice and Executive Secretary, I adhered to the principle that the purpose of procedure is not to thwart justice but rather to promote its administration. As Senate President and as a Senator, I am an arbitrator of sorts. This rule greatly broadened my understanding and allowed me to look at the problem from all angles. I have become more than just an advocate of winning, but an advocate of justice and the common good. It is about time that we consider changing the way our lawyers are trained there will be merit to the proposition that law graduates should be required or at least encouraged to train in government positions that require exercise of skills pertaining to alternative dispute resolution such as conciliation and mediation. Programs and courses in the Philippine Judicial Academy geared towards training lawyers to become judges may be refashioned and incorporated into law school curricula in order to give law students the perspective of a neutral third party in analyzing this. It is fitting that this change of heart begins with the UP College of Law. There is something about a graduate of the UP College of Law that bars us from separating ourselves from the concerns of the nation. We will always have a sense of duty to our country. There is almost an expectation that whenever UP lawyers gather, there will be a reference to the great words of Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., etched in the world walls of Malcolm, to teach law in the grand manner and to make great lawyers. In the end, what the study of law truly imparts is a method, a lifestyle, a habit, and eventually a deeply ingrained character. And this character should be one always hungry for excellence. <coughs> Grandness, if you will. But it should not be grand in scale and magnitude, but in impact. I recall the words of Margaret Thatcher herself, a distinguished lawyer, when she said, Watch your thoughts, for they become words. Watch your words, for they become actions. Watch your actions, for they become habits. Watch your habits, for they become your character. And watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. To me, 
which is what the state university aspires for. It goes to our core as it shapes the way we think, speak, act, and will hopefully build the character and destiny that will impact the nation in a positive manner. This is what is truly grand. In the UP College of Law, you are trained to deal not just with legal issues, but with the realities that are created and altered by the power of your legal arguments. You should be able to see the connection between the laws and the cases you read deep into the night and the people whose lives, liberty, and property depend upon your ability to use the law for their benefit. As graduates of the State University, UP lawyers are the products of the toil and labor of the thousands of Filipino citizens. Hence, there are expectations that come with being a graduate of the UP College of Law. You have the duty to give back to your country. You must dream of greatness for your country because the dreams of the Filipino people have been instrumental in fulfilling yours. You must practice law with the kind of passion that has been instilled in you by your professors, your fellow students, and this great institution of learning. For while the field of law is full of pragmatists and logical thinkers, this country can never have enough of lawyers who value justice and truth with intensity and conviction. As UP lawyers, we must use our legal knowledge for something far greater than the protection of life, liberty, and property. Find something to believe in. Have convictions. Do not be contented with sitting on fences or staying in the middle ground. Search for truth. And once you have found your answers, hold on to them. Be willing to fight for them. There will come a time when having convictions will start in a profession where truth is said to be flexible, it is difficult to be unwilling to compromise. Yet, as much as having convictions will hurt, I assure you that refusing to fight for what you believe in is one of the worst kinds of agony. To borrow the words of Winston Churchill, never, never give in except the convictions of honor and good sense. Do not just be another face in the crowd or just another name in the long list of lawyers. Be a leader rather than a follower. Be a catalyst for change rather than a reactionary. The true value of your education is not measured by how much you know about the law, but by how you will use what you know for something meaningful. Find yourself. Live your dreams understand your potential. And once you have found the wisdom to comprehend your power and the courage to accept your duty, give this country a tomorrow more than it deserves. It is your inevitable path, not only because you are Filipinos, not only because you are lawyers, not only because you are Filipinos and lawyers, but also because you are graduates of the UB College of Law. Let me therefore congratulate all of you once more on this momentous day, your commencement to a new life. Congratulations to class of 2014. Maraming, maraming salamat.